you know, the de facto mental health system in this country, and for years this has been the case and it hasn't changed, is primary care. You know, 50 to 80 percent of people with behavioral issues go where? They go to their primary care provider for help. The problem is, is that uh, only about half of behavioral issues are identified and diagnosed in primary care. And then of those that are diagnosed, only about half are appropriately treated. So a half times a half is about 25% of those that come with behavioral health issues to primary care. So um, the, the fact is that we are uh, faced with working with people with, you know, with behavioral health issues in primary care, and that's not going to change soon. Um, but the good news is that these new models of care allow us to do this in a different way. And what do I mean by that? So now we have frontline case managers, social workers or nurses, for example, or other types of providers, not physicians, on the front lines who now understand how to treat depression, and they have what's called systematic case review, where every week, each case in a population management way is reviewed by a psychiatrist recommendations are made they're given to the primary care doctor and so we don't have to farm this out or carve it out into another system but we can keep it within primary care now you have the expertise of the psychiatrist and frankly in people with multiple conditions you don't want to segment it and have mental health taken care of there and physical health taken care of you you want to do it all together so that's the opportunity